How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Far Cry 5 map editor tutorial video. It's your friend Fallen Ninja and today we're going to disable the object limiter in Far Cry 5. So, I know that a lot of people are having a hard time with their maps and they're not able to uh, do a lot because they get these red sectors everywhere that don't let them uh, publish or, or validate their map and you know that sucks especially when you only put like for example four objects here and then the entire um map can't be validated because of that i feel like that's a little bit extreme and the way that we work around this is by replacing one of the files in the game so i'm going to leave the link in the description below download this file right here once you download it, it's going to look like this. You want to grab that file and replace uh, the one in your Far Cry 5 directory. All right, so you, once you're in your Far Cry 5 directory, go over to your bin folder and you want to go ahead and drop that file you just downloaded into this folder and it's going to replace the original one. One thing you should do whenever you mod your game is back up your old file. The way you do that is by grabbing this file right here, which is the one we're going to replace copy paste it and it's going to say ige.wpf.core64.dll copy or you can just replace the dll to uh b a k like that and that would pretty much turn the file off but you can always recover it later while you're using the modded one um so once you get that mod in there you're still going to see the uh the red grid whenever uh, there's too many objects in one area but as you can see right here in the budget everything is turned off there's no budget bar or anything like that um unfortunately it's only available on piece on pc i don't know of any way to do it on ps4 or xbox one but uh, i'm sure if there is a way if we find out we'll let you guys know so now there's there's two downsides to this uh this mod the first downside is you can only play test your map once um, by clicking the explore or play button once per load that means that if you want to play test it again you have to save the map close the editor and then open it back up the other downside is um, in order for you to publish your map you pretty much can do the same thing you want to save your map close the editor open it back up and then you want to hit the check mark to to uh validate the map once that's done you're able to publish it i've tested it out several times the map does go live not of course this is, this is a mod so you know your mileage might vary you might run into issues and i can't promise you 100 percent you're not gonna have any issues i mean it's it's a mod it's not endorsed by ubisoft in any way and uh right now it's all that we can do um if we can make a better mod, we'll of course make a new updated video. And that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.